in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create dynamic project plans with Google Sheets. Now, if you need a quick way to divide work, assign tasks, track due dates and receive status updates on a project, then carry on watching this video. I'm going to divide this into three parts. Part one is setting up your project plan. Part two is collaborating with your team. And part three is do more with Google Workspace. Let's go ahead and get started with project one. We're going to divide this into five parts. Creating the project worksheet, inserting task descriptions, creating a list in a cell, setting up the project trackers and adding notifications five things so make sure you watch till the end so let's get started with the first thing which is creating a project spreadsheet go to your drive click on new go down to Google Sheets and we're gonna open up a blank spreadsheet okay first thing you want to do with the blank spreadsheet is give, go ahead and give it a name so we're working on rebranding the website and we want to go ahead and add the information here we're going to add columns for example we might want to have the owner the due date the status and comments so let's go ahead and do that i've got some data so i'm going to go ahead and paste it here so i've divided this into task and definition the due date the status and then the comment let's say i've got this strand here but it's going on way too long I want to add some more information the best thing for me to do here is add a comment so i'm going to go to insert and i can go to note or i can press shift f2 press on that and i can go ahead and start typing my comment so here we go this is my comment if i click away i've got my little box there can you see that little tiny triangle that little black indicator that tells everybody that there's a comment attached to this strand or this cell what i want to do next i want to create lists in my cell so people can easily just select from a drop down menu click on data go to data validation and now cell range click on this little box and we could go ahead and select our cell range here we go press ok where it says criteria we want to change this to list of items in here we can enter all of the items separated by comma so i want to say not started comma in progress comma complete and then we can go ahead and press save so there we go we have our drop down list it has any one of those three options so not started or in progress or we can say complete step four let's go ahead and set up progress trackers we want to see how the project tasks are progressing at a glass with conditional formatting so for example we want to add a color for all the completed tasks so they stand out from the rest of them or tasks that are in progress so on and so forth so go to format conditional formatting and then over here we can select the range so i'm going to go ahead and select the range to this column here our status column i want to press on ok now this is what i want the rule to be okay the format rule should be that if it contains a text and in this particular case i want to have complete if it says complete i want it to highlight in green and i want the text to show up as white press on done add additional rule and if it says in progress, I want it to show up as orange. Well, actually, let's just do it this gold color and I'll press done. Finally, if it's not started, that's what I want it to be read. So I'm going to say text contains and I'm going to say not started. Now, look, you have to spell this correctly, of course. If you don't, it's not going to work. There we go. OK, so now I've got my conditional formatting. As soon as I highlight one of these in progress or complete, it's going to show up and really grab my attention. The next step is to add project notifications. Who's made the changes, when they were made and what changed. You can also choose how often you will be notified. In order to do this, let's go to tools here and we go to notification rules. You can select when and how often you want to receive notifications. Let's go ahead and say any changes are made. I just want a daily digest because I want to see the progress on a daily basis. Who's made any changes or what's happened. So I'm going to go ahead and press save and press done. Anytime a team member makes a change, I'll be notified in a daily digest with all of the changes via email. Make sure you watch part two where I'm gonna show you how you can collaborate with your teammates using Google Sheets.